on this song are really like colorful really like the song you guys hey babes today in this video i'm going to be showing you how to do this ariana grande 34 plus 35 official music video look i mean it come out tonight and i'm editing it on the night that it come out it's the one where she's looking all bronze with a white eyeliner everyone's wearing nude outfits i actually gone and seen ariana twice now i've seen her once back in 2014 back in birmingham and last year in manchester pride um she come back to manchester and um, she was just sickening. She's just so beautiful and like she's absolutely tiny. She's about this big. Ariana Grande giving us the goods during the quarantine lockdown COVID-19 period. Period. Listen, you guys, I know for a fact, because I check that 85% of you guys watching are not subscribed to my channel. I've done Ariana Grande looks in the past and um, you know, like if you are a true Ariana then I really hope that you subscribe. I really, honestly, like, I wish that, you know. Come show your support, you know, the subscribe button is just one click. It's so easy and, you know, you get to spend a little bit more time with me. So yeah, guys, this is my look. Let's get started. I'm gonna prime with my Flawless Brightening Primer from Barry M. And then I'm gonna be using my Revolution Foundation Stick in F10 to color correct. So literally, I think that the YouTube video come out at five o'clock in the UK, and it is now 7.35, so it's been two hours and a half since the um, video was released, and I'm filming this video. Um, I really loved Ariana's looks. Uh, my favorite is when she's wearing the nude. She's got like tats out and everything. I think they're not real tattoos, but I mean, I don't know. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using my Life Wonder Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is an eight medium. I've got a massive big fat zip right under my nose, like on top of my lip. Like it's just, honestly, it's like a crater. And obviously I'm filming a video and a spot decides to show up. For concealer, I'm gonna be using a drugstore concealer, um, Lasting Perfection in Cool Medium Number Two. I know this has got new packaging, but I don't have the new one. I'm still like going through, like when they still had the old packaging. So you are not a beauty influencer from the UK if you don't have this concealer. I didn't do like a makeup look for positions. I did one for Rain On Me with Lady Gaga and Ariana. I did both of their looks actually. So I'm gonna link that like somewhere below, upstairs. I don't, I don't know. She did white eyeliner on that video and she's also doing white liner here. Honestly, like she's killing it with these 60s vibes like eyeliner. So Ariana's super, super bronze. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Soleil Tan de Chanel and my Tan Tour in Medium from Huda. Oh, this bronzer is so beautiful. Um, basically, they reformulated this and called it like Universal Bronzing Cream or something like that. Um, and all of the Chanel fans, all of the fans of this product were like really mad. Now, I do actually have a potential dupe for this product, so if you guys are interested, then please comment down below if you want to know a dupe for Soleil Tan de Chanel. Hitting my face with a little bit of Tantor. See, that is so, 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 so dark, but it blends out beautifully. So this one, I'm gonna like contour with it, and Ariana does kind of have like a heavier contour, I would say, than usual. Tan, contour, kind of look. Ariana come out with position. She come out with uh, Rain On Me with Gaga this summer. Um, she, so she's absolutely been, you know, the one providing us with the goods during the quarantine, during the lockdown, giving us a little bit of hope during this very, very troubling very weird time that we're all in. Don't you just love cream products? I absolutely love cream products. Um, I think before, honestly, like I was so scared of creams, but now I love it. I think I'm a cream queen. <laughs> Comment below if you know that reference. 
Okay, we don't want any of that moving, so I am gonna go ahead with my Chanel powder. Um, this is the Universal Libra in Translucent 3, and just powder the face. So base is on, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Okay guys, so first thing that I'm gonna do for the eyes is I'm gonna be using my P. Louise base in rumor number two. Not gonna lie, that eye look, mm, it took me about uh, half an hour to do. <laughs> I just wanted it to look perfect. So I'm gonna be using my new nude eyeshadow palette from Puda, and I'm gonna be using Secret in the crease and also all over the lid and into the crease as well. This is like kind of like more of a wash. It'll help everything blend in. It's a very matte look. All of the shine is kind of like, she has a bit of a shine on her brow bone and her cheekbones. Cute. And then I'm gonna be using Raw, which is like this warm brick brown. And I'm applying that into the crease. And then I'm kind of like winging it out. This can be quite blended, even at the bottom, just because we're gonna go ahead anyway with some white eyeliner, so it's gonna cut that crease anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Eye Magic White Base right here for the eyeliner. Okay, so you wanna draw a really, really thick white eyeliner because you're gonna go over it as well with black eyeliner as well, so... You don't want the white covered up with black. Okay, and then you're gonna create a wing shape and you wanna go really far back. Okay, once you've got your wing shape, you wanna go back into yourself from the winged liner into the crease. You wanna stop halfway. Oh, I'm just prone to get this even, to be honest. I'm gonna go ahead with my Certified Tropical Wonders palette and I'm gonna use Waterfall, which is this white. And you just want to set that eyeliner. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead with my Barry M Liquid Liner and do an intense winged liner look. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on some Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and my Kitty Lashes in Lily, and then I'm gonna come back. They look pretty um, similar to what Ari had on in the video, so I'm pretty happy. So to finish off the face, I'm gonna be using my Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in Medium from Revolution, because this is quite dark on me. Char. Um. Ari has got like a really dark bronzer on, so she's not like, she doesn't look like she's got blusher on, but she does have a lot of bronzer on. So we're gonna like, you know, amp up the bronzer. And then for the highlighter, I'm gonna be using my Mary Luminizer from The Bar, and she's pretty highlighter heavy as well. Yeah, I'm applying that underneath the brow bone as well. Just a tiny little bit, just for a little bit of a shine. Just here on the nose bridge. Okay, so for the lips, Ariana Grande has like, like a super brick red color on. So I'm gonna actually mix lip liner in So Chic by Barry M and MAC Taupe lip liner. Okay guys, this is the final Ariana 34 plus 35 music video makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed the video, you guys. I super, super enjoyed making this look. Honestly, low-key, kind of stressful because of the eyeliner, but it looks fierce. I'm just basically wearing this top 
from Miss Pop. It actually comes in a cord and I styled my hair kind of like Ari's. You know what I'm saying. Guys, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Let me know the tea. If you're an Ariana fan, you better subscribe. Do you know what I mean? Bye, guys.